congrats on all your success. Um, it's it's really wonderful. Rocks really put you on the map. How has it been adjusting to your newfound fame? Yeah, it's been um, it's been weird. It's been weird. Um, it's been weird being recognized in the street in London. Um, but it's been it's been cool. I mean, you know, I'm not like super famous, so I'm still. I can still go to the shops in like slippers and a bonnet. So it's all right. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I love seeing you in this. I love seeing someone like Victoire in a story like this. Mm-hmm. So I guess, um, what does it mean to you to be such an integral and dynamic part of this particular story set in this particular time? I mean, I think it, at first it was a bit scary. Um, I think um, I felt a bit of, I guess duty and pressure at the same time to be able to portray this character in the best way that I can um, as a black woman in this time and as Muslim women in this time. So it was a bit of pressure, but at the same time, I enjoyed it. I I enjoyed it so much. Um, And I think I put a lot of time into her, put a lot of love into her. So I'm just excited to see how she's perceived now and taken in. What is it that you love about Victoire, the character and playing her? Yeah, I mean, I had a funny relationship with Victoire because, you know, um, after I got the job, we, me and like the whole production team did a lot of changes on her and a lot of script change. So I didn't actually get to like know her and connect with her before um, I started filming. So that process happened while I was filming. And um, after the, after like nine months of being her, I just couldn't help but love her because she's just such a, she's so like, she's just humorous, cheeky, strong, and just like powerful at the same time and very wise. So, um, yeah, I love all those parts of her. How much of you is there in her then? What about you playing her shaped her? I think naturally when you play a, when you play a, um, a character, some parts of you will, I don't know, go into that. Um, and I think with Victoire, it's, I feel so similar to her, but so different at the same time. So it's, a, it's such a, yeah, it's such a weird thing. Um, but I think the facial expressions are like the... <laughs> the facial like physicality is the same I'm a very expressive person on my face so that I couldn't help but that to just go into her um I feel like even when she's not speaking she's making the face and we're very similar (laughs) in that in that in that world yeah so what does Victoria see in Camille then that keeps her so loyal to her yeah that was something I was like figuring out whilst I was filming because it's like you know what is what's keeping you here? Um, and I think with Victoire, Victoire it was um, that sense of love. I don't think she's ever felt that before, before Camille. You know, she was there at Jericho's before Camille came. Um, we don't really know much about her and like her family, or like who, who did she love before Camille? And I think um, that sisterly love that she feels and that bond is really something that, you know, made her, made her really soft and, and um, vulnerable. And just, it's a really nice feeling. And I don't think she wants to let that go. So I think that's why she's still here with this person, you know, because she loves her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So without spoiling anything, I guess, are we going to get more backstory on Victoire? Because she's such a mystery right now. Yeah. Like, how did she get where she is? Yeah, she she is a mystery. And um, I don't know. Will we? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I hope so, too. So what then has been your favorite uh, discovery about her or maybe about yourself in the experience of playing her? Um, I think how shy she is in a way. Um, I think she's very like outspoken and, you know, she's a very a present character and she's very much there, but she's also quite shy um, and timid at the same time. I think she has like a lot of characteristics in one um, and also how young she is. Uh, Cause I forget sometimes that she's like only 15 and she's so wise and she's having to navigate this world. How did you get involved in the production? What drew you to it? Yes. Um, yeah, I was I was asked to audition, um, and I'll be so honest with you, I actually didn't didn't re- read my audition script, but I still went. Um, I read it like the night the night morning before. Um, never do that; it's a very bad thing to do. <laughs> uh, and I thought the audition went so bad. <laughs> I, mean, I thought it went so bad. Um, but I think what drew me most to it was um, our first block director, Leonora Lonsdale. Um, and, the, and the passion she had for the world and the passion she had for the character and the passion she had for me to be able to bring that character to life was really like, I don't know, I just was really like, taken aback by it and kind of intrigued with it. So I just wanted to discover that a bit more and, see, you know, discover that world a bit more. 
Yeah. Um, had you seen the play or the movie or read the book prior to auditioning? No, actually, I didn't. Um, I didn't. But I did order the book on Amazon and I was like, you know, I'm going to read it. I'm going to do my research. And then I didn't. Um, <laughs> but I think it was because I just wanted to I just wanted to interpret her in my own way and just kind of go into it with my gut and see what I could bring into it without mimicking another performance accidentally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs>